In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can connect your domain from Hostinger.com to your Shopify store. It's going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial so you can follow along. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're logged in on Shopify and then at the left bottom corner, you will see settings. So go ahead and click on that. And from here, we want to go to domains right here. So click on that. And now as you can see, this is our current domain name, myshopify.com. And then right here, we want to click connect existing domain and we want to go to Hostinger. And then right here, we can go to domains and our domain portfolio. And as you can see, here will be all the domains that we currently have. For me, I'm going to use this one, bubblemagic.store. So I'm simply going to copy the domain and now I go back to Shopify to paste it in. Now we click next and as you can see it's going to see the DNS records and this is basically what we need to do. First we need to log into Hostinger which we already have done and now I mean, first we need to add these new DNS records inside Hostinger. So the first thing is CAA at and then and then this value right here so I'm going to copy this value. Now I'm going back to Hostinger and from here we want to click manage on the domain. There we go. Now on the left, we can see DNS slash name servers. So go there. And now as you can see, here are the DNS settings. So here we want to add a new record. So for the type, we're going to say CAA. And for name, we leave it at at. For flag, we're going to say zero. And for the tag, we're going to say issue. And then we're going to paste in the value we got from Shopify. And now we click add record. And as you can see, the record has been created successfully. Let's do the same thing with the second one, which is simply SSL.com, which gives it an SSL certificate. So you're going to have a green lock next to your domain name. So we do the same thing. CAA right here, at and then a zero and a 40 tag issue. And we paste in the value just like that. There we go. Then we move on to the next step, which is updating these records. So we want to find this record and update it to this IP code. So we want to find the one that starts with 157. So we go back once again. And right here, we already have it all the way at the bottom. You simply click edit and then points to you change it to the value we got in Shopify. Click update. There we go. Now we do the next thing with AAAA record and we copy this one as well. Then we scroll up. We can see it right here. So once again, we edit it. We paste in a new value, click update. And then once again, we also got to do that with the C name. We want to change the C name from bubblemagic.store to shops.myshopify.com. So it should be all the way up. And yes, right here it is. We edit this one as well. We paste in a new target and click update. And now we're done with the DNS configuration. Now what we can do once you filled in all the new details, we click I updated DNS records and now it's going to check if you actually did it. And as you can see, we got the green light. DNS records are pointing to Shopify. The domain is live in all regions globally, which is perfect and means that you did it correctly. Now please note that it could take up to 48 hours for this to properly link to your Shopify store. And as you can see, still it's doing all kinds of things, provisioning the TLS certificate, which basically means that the connection to your site will be secure. And now the last thing we want to do is at the bottom, we want to change the domain type. So we click on that and we want to make this our primary domain name. So we click on that and there we go. We now successfully changed domain type and now bubblemagic.store is the primary domain name for our Shopify site. So now let's take a look at if it actually works. So I'm simply going to copy the domain name and then it should bring us to the Shopify page. So let's see. And yes, there we go. We got the password protection site, but this means that the domain name is now pointing towards Shopify. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.